Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for September 1st through September 10th. Now this is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is intended to be a love reading. We're going to get three of these. Then we're going to go get some of those, and then we're going to get some of these, and or one of those, whatever comes out. Um, and we're going to do some clarifiers. Now, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, you know, check your rising sign, check your moon sign, whatever. Um, it may not resonate with you. I can't connect with everybody. This is for Virgo. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Hmm. There's not. There's not. <laughs> I don't know. There's not. I mean, for some instances, there's not. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Don't waste your time with the wrong one. If you're calling in your soulmate, Makes sense to me. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Now at the end, I'm doing something new and I'm clarifying these cards directly. So stay tuned. Stay positive. Don't get involved with a joker. Because I posted a quote some time ago on my Facebook page. And I can't remember exactly what it said, but... You don't want to be caught in bed with a joker when you, when uh, Mr. Wright knocks on your door, you know? So, very, very good advice. Virgo. Somebody's not happy. I'm not happy. Could be some sadness. Lack of growth in a situation. My rings are falling off. That's a good sign. I've tried moving them. They're still falling off. Anyway, um, and maybe your ring's falling off. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Who knows? I don't know. But... Somebody's in an unhappy relationship. Perhaps they're thinking about completing it. I don't know. This is, uh, this is an opportunity for happily ever after. Probably could be with somebody new. But you, there's a feeling of criticism. You may feel like you're being attacked by another person. There could be some fighting going on. Now, this is for the September 1st through the 10th. This is being recorded at the end of August. So, wait for it to play out. This is thinking about love. You may be bored in your current relationship. Or boredom has sparked some unhappiness. You may be thinking about a new love, and it does make sense. You, there's one situation where there's no interest. The interest, the, the spark has dwindled. And now, you know, you may be dreaming about, you know, that love, the love of your life. I might have to take these rings right off. It really doesn't want to stay on. That is a message for you. It really is. Um, <laughs> yeah, somebody's in a situation that is no longer solid. It is no longer stable. Um, maybe it's just, I, I'm ready to throw it away. I'm ready to throw this away, you know? Somebody is indecisive, though. Indecisive. Their intuition is telling them something. 
oh, okay, thinking about giving up because it's like there's no more progress to be made. You may have to make a choice between two paths, you know. Do I move forward and take a risk? Or do I stay where I'm at? It feels like this is something that you have been getting prepared for. But the overall outcome is is ditching an opportunity. I don't want it. I don't want it. Interesting. So let's get some clarifiers. There's some secrets here. There's some secrets here. You could be pretending to be happy. That could be the case. Um, you have options. Somebody has some options here, right here, and it's, it's in the is in the process of making a complex decision. Do I stay in this situation that I'm bored in, or do I take a risk and fly by the seat of my pants? You're gonna clarify this lack of confidence, lack of victory and success. This is right here, right in the middle. Somebody has is lacking confidence to take a risk. Okay, acting naive, but there is unrequited love in one situation. There is. I mean, there is. It's like there's a partnership that is incompatible. It's not harmonious, and it's probably not very secure at this time. And you know exactly what this is, okay? You do. Your intuition, your inner guide is absolutely telling you what you need to know. Okay? So if you if your intuition is talking to you at this time and you're hearing or you're getting these thoughts in your head or out of the blue or whatever, really pay attention because those are messages. That's your inner guide talking to you. All right? Now, you guys, this card calling in your soulmate, you are absolutely positively calling in your soulmate. Even perhaps through your dreams, even perhaps through your subconscious wishes. Okay, we have a soulmate connection here. We do. These rings are still falling off. Even though I moved them around, I changed them. Um, <laughs> there could be a split, there could be a breakup. You know, it's it's like I have to love myself. I have to have enough self-love to put my heart out there. Now, you could be dealing with a, a water sign as well. Now, you could be feeling really emotional at this time. Maybe you are emotional feeling, you know, like... You could have some ups and downs in the emotional arena, arena, okay? You may, you know, your love is really a huge factor during this week. It's like your intuition is telling you to follow your heart. Your intuition is telling you to follow your heart, okay? But if you follow your heart, it could cause some conflict. And you're stuck. You're sacrificing yourself because you don't want to cause any conflict. That's what it looks like to me. You know, you guys are hanging around, you're stuck, you're in limbo, needing to see things from a new perspective, needing to have faith and trust, okay? Needing to um, really love yourself enough to do, do what's right for you, but I see that you guys are really, really stuck on a decision that you have to make. And this decision does have to do with an unrequited love situation. Whether this is job, work, family, relationship, whatever. There's a situation here that is not fulfilling you, period. You may be married to it, okay? But it could be a job, could be a partner. But you're committed to it, whatever it is. But there's not any any harmony, and it's like it's not even solid anymore. It's not even providing any security to you. It's not fulfilling your heart, and so your heart is at the forefront of this week, what your heart wants. You guys want to make a change. You do. I, this is the Ten of Wands reverse. It's like I want to free myself from hanging around. I want to free myself from this place of limbo. 
But if you do that, you may end up um, letting go of some responsibilities, you know? And that's an issue here with the seven of wands up here. It's like you have responsibilities that you are, that are keeping you stuck in this situation. Yep, it's tangible. You can touch it. It may be financially secure, but it, it's not love. It's not whatever it is. So this is for some of you. I think some, for those of you that are in a coupled relationship um, that are struggling I feel that you're only in it because maybe it's just for the money or the home or the the responsibilities, you know, maybe you have children, um, but it's not stable, it's not secure, it's not, and so right now it's everything but love, when you get the king of coins in reverse, this is a situation where it's everything but love, and you are wanting love. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we have Leo. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There you are. You need to take a time out and go within and become consciously aware of who you are and where you're going and what you want. You need to become consciously aware about who you are and what you want. It's a time of introspection. You need to become enlightened. You need to see the light. Maybe you need to take a break. Maybe you need to take some alone time to become conscious, okay? This is these are both together. I mean, this is Jesus consciousness, but when it's when it's with these two, I mean, this is major. Major changes are on the horizon and you really need to take time to go within, to listen to your soul. Listen. Quiet time. Seriously. You're receiving some messages that you may not be hearing because you're not listening. Take this time to really go outside in the silence of the of nature, even if it's on your front porch or on your backyard or whatever, where there's nobody else around, no kids running, any of that, and just listen. And I don't mean for five minutes either, an hour, four hours. Listen, because the messages are coming to you. So we have abundance here. We have money. I'm trying to save money. A, bit, a lot of this has to do with money. It really does. Money, 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 money. Money, money, money. Security. It's financially secure. But maybe you need to, you know, the Queen of Cups, she puts her heart before money. And maybe that's why she's here. Maybe you need to let go of that persona that money is what is going to make you happy or the stuff that money can buy because somebody is not happy in the love arena but they are financially stable and that's why somebody needs to take a time out and really think about this. Is that, you know, you want, is that what you want? Is that really, really, really what's going to make you happy? Don't look like it to me. Now, if you're single, if you're single and you don't have anybody, you may be focusing on your job. 
You may be focusing on everything but love. You know, maybe you're focused on your family. I do see that family is an issue here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Focused on everything but love, whether you're coupled or single. If you're focused on everything but love and you're not putting any energy into love, then that you'll have to live with that consequence. Money really doesn't buy happiness. Maybe short term. Whew. Oh, goodness. Somebody's lost their focus. They've lost their concentration. They're not doing the right thing. Blocking love because of financial stability. Somebody has it planned sufficiently. They haven't. They, they planned for this to last forever. But now there's a harsh reality that I'm lonely. I'm lonely. And you're growing bitter and resentful by the day. Because love is seriously the highest abundance that you can receive. When you are loved, everything else falls right into place. When you put love first, you will be abundant financially. Trust me. But anyway, somebody is feeling lonely wherever they're at right now because... Love isn't the number one bullet on the presentation. It's not. It's not the number one bullet. The number one bullet at this time is financial success, stability, security. Financial stability, security, and success. If you don't give time and energy to love, it will not grow. It feels as though, you know, there's an opportunity for a renewal or a reunion. If you're in a relationship and things are rocky and you want to fix it, put love back on top because there's an opportunity for it to be fixed here. This could also be a third party situation with the Three of Cups. Somebody has a wandering eye because they're not feeling loved. This is the wandering eye and this is the third party situation. So yeah, somebody is, is looking outside of the relationship because I'm not being fulfilled. Because all you focus on is your work and your job and your home and everything but love. I'm not feeling loved. Therefore, somebody's going backwards and, and somebody is also trying to cling to control. You know, trying to control the outcome, trying to control destiny. But trying to control destiny brings bad luck. It does. It does. I mean, this is bad luck. Somebody is so disc. Another three of cups. There's a third party situation here. Somebody is looking for another opportunity because they are unfulfilled romantically. And there is another opportunity. So if this has already happened to you and you people have already moved past this stage, there's a new opportunity for love here. There's something to celebrate. Somebody, somebody that has moved on has decided, you know what, I don't have nothing to prove. I want happiness. Some of you have. Some of you have stepped out of that ego and pride and decided to throw away the security that you had, the financial security, to put love first. Some of you have, some of you haven't. There's an opportunity for commitment here. And happiness. 
something that could even lead to marriage. After something falls apart, but somebody's trying to avoid, they're trying to avoid a disaster by trying to keep things under control. Trying not to look at that other opportunity, trying not to acknowledge the other opportunity. But it's act now, think later, take, take, take action, get, do something about it. It's time to do something about it. Somebody could be coming into your life or has come into your life and there's a spark. There's a spark. But you're you're on that teeter-totter and you don't know what to do. You know, you really don't know what to do. You don't know if you should move forward. You don't know if you should go back. You're feeling like this is this is too much. You know, I don't want to have all this chaos in my life. It's going to cause a financial mess if I go down this road. If I... If I keep walking towards my heart's destination, it's going to be a financial loss. But you really need to follow your heart. There's an opportunity for love here with a soulmate. Okay, there's a soulmate connection here. But you have to be willing to put love first. So yes, I believe there is a connection that could lead to a commitment. If you have not met this person yet and you are single, you can meet this person at a gathering. Okay, because this is a gathering and this is a gathering, like a celebration. There could be a wedding, there could be anything at a church. Okay, you could go to a church or whatever, something like that and meet this person if you are single. Um, or a school or an institution, okay? You can meet this person, this new person at an institution or a school or, or even at your job, okay? But there, I think this is, is really, it's, it's some kind of celebration. Picnic, uh, church gathering maybe. Um, anyway, there's an opportunity for, for love here, okay? Um, and this can even be a reconciliation. This could be new love or a reconciliation with the Ace of Cups. So if you are in a coupled relationship and you are trying to fix it because there's been unrequited love, there is an opportunity to fix it if you can put this at the top, above your job. And this goes for singles or couples. To make a relationship work, love Emotional support, nurturing, comfort, needs to be part of the equation at all times. Let's clarify these cards. So I feel, yeah, there's an opportunity for love here if you want it, if you do want it. And, and, you know, you, it could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that comes into your life and there's an instant spark. Could be with anybody, though. But we're going to clarify the unrequited love at this point. Ooh, you're dealing with a, somebody that thinks about themselves first. Now, I'm not sure if this is you or another person, but this is a very fast-moving energy. Somebody that is kind of cold, okay? This person doesn't really feel the way that you feel. You know, they don't, their heart isn't open like yours. And that may be why you're in an unrequited love situation. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't really show their emotions. And when you can't see somebody's emotions, you tend to, you know, be unsure and feel insecure. Because I see the insecurities, so... There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You may be thinking about getting the hell out of that situation and being on your own. You know, I'd rather be on my own and enjoy life and be stable and secure on my own. I'd rather, you know, this is the single single person 
who is very grateful, has a lot of life experience and a lot of self-worth and brings abundance into their life by working on it, knows that this, this person knows that I can take care of myself just fine. So you may be deciding, you know what, I'd rather be on my own than deal with a situation that isn't love, that isn't passionate. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yes, they do. Right, and I put it right here over this Ace of Cups. There's a soulmate connection here. Could lead to marriage. But you have to walk through that door. You're at a crossroads. Do you stay or do you go? You have two paths. You have to make a decision. You may suddenly decide to go through that new door or you may suddenly decide to stay right where you're at. But there is an opportunity to move on, to go through. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's a there's a there's a new beginning here, a new phase, a new chapter. The world. The world. A major new beginning is about to start for you, Virgo, with a soulmate. Even if it's a reconciliation, even if you're coupled and you're trying to work it out, there's a major new shift. This is a shift. Where you are going to get something that It's golden. I keep seeing this gold. It's 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 very enlightening, whatever this is. This is something that is going to bring success to your life. And this is a new chapter, long term. It does, it is, it's going to be long term. Long term. The world is a lesson has been learned or a new lesson is about to begin. And these are usually long-term, something that's a long-term phase or a chapter or a project or whatever. But this is a new beginning if you walk through that door to love. One more. But you got to stop worrying about it. You're worried. You're paranoid. You're scared. Scared. Really scared. But maybe, because the world card is a lesson. Maybe one of these lessons is fear. Facing your fears. Going through that new door. Facing your anxiety and your worries. So that you can be loved. So that you can feel love. Stay optimistic. And that's good after this, after what I just said here. Stay optimistic. Don't let this negative thinking and the worries and the fears hold you back from love. Please. Please, God. Release these fears. Release these fears. Yeah, be positive. <laughs> Think positive. This is think positive, and this is think positive as well. This is no shit. Um, try to stay focused. Okay? Things that you have started some time ago, that you have been thinking about, that you have been praying for, are starting to come to fruition. So don't give up hope, because whatever it is that you've been waiting for is coming. It's coming. This is a new suitor as well. This is somebody that is better suited for you. After you are single, you leave an unrequited love situation. There is a new suitor that is a soulmate. Thank you, Lord. Me and my thank you, Lords. This person is not your usual type. Maybe this person is getting out of a contract right now. This person could be going through a divorce or a separation right now, too. Or you need to, whatever it is. This is, um, whoever this new suitor is, and it could be any sign, is probably ending a contract right now. Yeah, they're, they're giving up on something. They're freeing themselves. They're no longer hanging on to something. <coughs> 
So you need to stay optimistic and think positive about this situation. Somebody is um, in the midst, okay? And, and perhaps you need to keep moving on as well. You know, keep moving on. Do not let the negative thinking from your past wounds, your past hurts, your past experiences, your past conflicts, your past lovers hold you back. Okay? Because I'll just bring you backwards. Negative thinking will bring you backwards. Act now, think later, move forward, think positive. There's an opportunity for love here with a soulmate after you free yourself from a situation that is boring, discontent, and unhappy. Is that going to fall? Yes, it is. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's the transformation cards. Endings bring new beginnings. And Taurus got this for September as well. I think Scorpio got it too. I think transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes. I'm going to read it, but it's with this ending, a new beginning uh, happens. And I'm thrilled, I'm thrilled, I'm thrilled. Um... You are in a time of huge transformation. Old beliefs, ideas, and decisions about who you are and what you deserve in life are dropping away. And that's the truth. That is. Old beliefs, ideas, and decisions about who you are and what you deserve in life are dropping away. And this is it. That's dropping away. I'm telling you what. It's amazing. Okay. Um, replaced by incredible vitality in new pathways. Son of a gun. There's your new pathway right there. Soon you will be experiencing the world in a fresh new way. The journey transforms the traveler. When the traveler arrives at the destination, the traveler is no longer the same person who started out. Even if there are some areas that may be murky or unsettled in your life, don't be concerned. This is the confusion that often appears before the rebirth. Like the phoenix that arises majestically from the ashes, a big change in your life is at hand. Don't hold on to the old ways of viewing the world and limited ways of thinking. Let me read, 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 read. <laughs> repeat that for you. Don't hold on to the old ways of viewing the world and limited ways of thinking. Be willing to see the world with fresh new eyes. Changes are afoot and it's all so very good. It's time to drop away what you used to know, what used to be secure. You are not that same person. That's called alchemy. That's called evolving. That's called growing up. Maturity. And that's what I have, Virgo, for this week. There's an opportunity for love here if you go through that door. Talk to you later.